Thank you for coming to my talk. I'm Hiroto Yoshimura from Wildlife Research Center, Kyoto University. Today, I will talk about simulation study on monkey behavior, entitled Overmarking Contributes to Mate Encounter in Solitary Animals. As most of you know, sense of smell is one of the fundamental tools for animal communication. When mammals encounter scent mark of another individual, they are known to often place their own scent mark on top of or very close to it. This phenomena is called overmarking, and this is ubiquitous among terrestrial mammals of various relationships, such as pairs, competitors, or even among different species. However, we know little about the function of this behavior. Many hypotheses are proposed, such as mate guarding, mate attraction, territory maintenance, chemical bodies involved, but whether the association between overmarking and fitness exists remains unanswered. The function of overmarking can vary with the relationship of individuals as well. So in this study, we focused on overmarking among different sex and try to show overmarking can contribute to individual fitness. There are several evidence that support marking behavior related to mating. Marking frequency increased during reproductive season in both sex of various felines, and some species are known to be capable of discriminating sex and reproductive status of marking donor. In spotted hyenas, scent marking are reported to inform sexual status aside from territory maintenance. So marking behavior transfer valuable information related to mating. As for overmarking, wild male lynx were reported to increase overmarking frequency during reproductive season. When solitary animals look for potential mates, marking should be important cues. Imagine you are looking for someone and find some notes from him or her. You may add some notes, words on it and look for the area. Therefore, we hypothesized overmarking among different sex is effective to efficiently encounter mates. However, it is difficult to test this hypothesis in the actual environment since we need individuals who exhibit overmarking behavior and who do not. So we use computer simulation method. In this simulation, two individuals look for each other in a field of size 1000 by 1000. We replicated the trial 10,000 times, and each trial consisted of 10,000 time steps. Now I explain the algorithm of animal movement. If marking of other individuals was detected, animal moved towards the nearest marking. Move length was calculated according to Levy Walk formula. Levy Walk is one of the random search algorithms which various species exhibit in the actual environment. The important parameter for the Levy Walk is mu. Mu ranges from 1.1 to 3 in this study. The smaller mu is, the more ballistic they move. If mu equals 3, they exhibit so called the Brownian movement and mu around 2 is often observed in the wild animal movement. If the marking of other individual was not detected, they move towards a random direction. Then we judge it whether individuals encountered at each time step. To prevent passing each other, we divided each time step into 10 sub-steps and judge encounter. Encounter success was defined as the distance of two individuals closer than the threshold. Basically, threshold was set as one. Well. If they encounter, time step was recorded and proceed to the next simulation. Using this simulation framework, we compared the three movement algorithm. First, just random search. Individuals perform only lazy walk. Second, without overmarking. Individuals place their marking probabilistically and are attracted by marking, but do not overmark. Third, with overmarking. Individuals are attracted by marking and, if reached, do overmark with a probability p. 
probability decreased logistically as time passed. In other words, overmarking probability is high for fresh marking and low for old markings. The detectable range of marking also decreased similarly with time. Now I show the summary of the result. Since we do not know the parameters of actual environment, we need to test various parameter sets. First, we tested different combination of Levy work. But regardless of the combination, overmarking algorithms show the best success rate. You can see the red bars are always higher than blue or black ones. Similarly, we tried various parameters, but the trend is consistent. Overmarking algorithm showed the best performance in most of the case. As for the minimum time spent for encounter, the effect of overmarking was seen. With some parameter set, there was almost no difference, but generally, overmarking showed the quickest encounter. The effect is same in the minimum travel distance. These graphs are depicted relative to the value of random as one. As you can see, in most cases, the red point was below blue or black, which means overmarking reduces travel distance to encounter mates as well. To sum up, our hypothesis was supported in the simulation study. When population density is low, placing on cues near mates may be effective to stay close to each other. This can be one reason to explain why overmarking was most efficient. Although in silico analysis cannot completely reflect the actual environment, the results indicate that overmarking contributes to increased successful encounter with mates for solitary animals. At present, we are testing whether overmarking also works when multiple pairs in the same field. And it is also interesting to simulate the evolution of overmarking behavior. Specifically, start with individuals who have completely random parameter set and the parameters of encountered pairs is passed on the next generation. Then see what parameters they have after tens or hundreds of generations. Now we are working on this as well. As further research, we need to reconcile simulations with real-world data. I will be happy to have the opportunity to collaborate with research, so if you are interested, please contact me. Thank you.